Hey stars! Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. Today we have some really, really, really exciting news going on and I cannot wait for it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Sorry, I don't have on any makeup today. Like, I'm just really giving fresh face because I'm about to go and get my hair done, okay? And I am so excited because I'm going to a black-owned hair salon, black-owned business, another girl boss. You already know this is another episode of Black Girl Magic. And I can't wait, oh my gosh. So I have known, I've known Kim for almost like 10 years if I'm not mistaken. It's been 10 or more years since we've known each other and she's been doing my hair ever since. Like I didn't trust anyone with my real hair except for her. And coming from Ohio where literally my mom was the only person who touched my hair, it was just so hard for me to gain trust in other people and actually, uh, you know, let them put their hands in my hair. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you, like seriously. But um, this intro isn't gonna be long because honestly guys, I need to go and handle some things before I call the Uber. But I will either come back to you once I'm in the Uber or on the way to get the Uber. One or the other, I don't know. But if you guys wanna find out what's gonna happen and who I'm featuring on this Black Girl Magic episode, then you already know what I need you to do. Keep watching. Oh boy, you like it, like it, like what you see. Won't you come over and check up on it? I'ma let you work up on it. Ladies, let them check up on it. Oh, hey, stars. Okay, so I made it downtown. Guys, I'm a little early, kind of a lot of early. Like, I still have like 30 minutes. Like, it's only 10.35 right now. My appointment starts at 11. But we all know, better early than late. So I'm just probably about to look around downtown because we are in, on um, the Magnificent Mile. So there's like a lot of shopping centers and a lot of the stores are open right now. So I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna try to kill some time by like, walking and seeing i heard that there is a croc store somewhere nearby and i really want to um go in there because i really want some guys <laughs> like i'm ready to join the croc wave okay um but yes like i think that this vlog is going to be pretty cute pretty lit like i'm so excited i can't wait for you guys to see the shop i can't wait for you to see kim like you guys have seen her before on my channel, but this is when she was actually working for a different salon. Now, she has her own. So like, how dope is that? Like, oh, I just love supporting my girls and seeing them flourish in all of their endeavors. Um, but yes, so, come on guys. I had to wipe off the camera, cause like, I still feel like the camera has like a glare or something on it. Like, it needs to be wiped off. Like, it's not as, crystal clear as it should be but guys I'm inside of the shop I'm I think I have to call Kim because I don't know where it is like I don't know what floor it's on I tried to look at the website but I couldn't find it so I'm about to call her really quick I realized I didn't have as much time as I thought I did so I didn't go like shopping um, or anything like that yet I might do it afterwards but I just I don't want to be late because I only have like 15 minutes left and I usually like to show up 15 minutes beforehand. Oh, perfect, okay. So I just got a text message that said, um, like, I love it already. Look how you got it set up already. And I feel like you like just got in here. I did. I just started moving stuff. Look at Kim's sweet, y'all. 
Y'all gotta come support my girl and her yes. business. I'm Please. telling you. Please come see me. We're making this a thing. I'm telling you, this is not a trend or a fad. We supporting black owned businesses, period. 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 Oh, I'm so excited. And you guys are about to see, I'm telling you, she always gets me right. Y'all see, when she said I was on the books, I ain't touched my hair since. Cause I already knew it's about to be lit. All right, y'all, I'm just checking in, letting y'all know. So we did the wash and blow dry part. As you can see, my hair is so long and thick. But Kim is about to get me right. It's my favorite part, the straightening part. Y'all always know I love a middle part. So I'm getting a middle part. We always do this. She asks me every time, like, what, what you want your part to be? And she already knows it's going to be middle part. So I can't wait. My hair feels so soft, too. Like, whatever you put in it, it feels so good. Love it. But all right, y'all. When I come back, you ready to slay this hair? Period. Ready. She was born ready. Ready. She all ready. Ready. I can't wait. <laughs> all right, stars. Look. We are finished. You see that? I know y'all see the drip. You see the drip? Ow. Ooh. Yes. Kim, you always get me right. I love you, baby. Black owned businesses. Black owned, come see me, guys. Where we at? Tell them where we at. 520 North Michigan Avenue, third floor, Phoenix Salon Suite, 113. Period. Period. Y'all know what's up. Come see my girl and make sure that y'all tip well, okay? Because yes. you see the work, Period. you see the drip. What's up? Y'all see my girl? Alrighty guys, so I'm sitting and I'm waiting for the train. I didn't even tell you guys that I had took the train um, earlier on instead of taking the Uber because like, it was trying to charge way too much. And I was like, um, no ma'am. <laughs> like, you're not about to get all that point from me, honey. Period. But y'all, I am feeling my hair so much. I love it. Like, I love my mask. I just found out like, look what I can do with my mask. If I want to switch it up on y'all, I can. How cute is that? Oop. Trying not to do this on the train, honey. Bomb. But yes, if y'all want this mask, Lux Complex, you already know. Black owned businesses. Also, I gotta do it. I've been carrying around my Cartier hand sanitizer the spray i love it it's so convenient it's so easy i'm definitely gonna have to order a couple more of these like for real because i love it but yes i will talk to you guys in a little bit hey stars so i'm at home right now i just finished doing my makeup and I uh, just finished doing some TikTok videos because not only did I want to film this video, but I also wanted to get some content for my TikTok as well with just like showing them my new hairstyle and stuff like that. And something really, really weird is going on. Like so many of my comments keep saying that I look like B. Simone. Like she's, don't get me wrong, she's a beautiful girl, but I'm just like, I don't think we look alike at all. Like, I don't understand, like, where they see the resemblance at. Like, if you guys think I look like B. Simone, or if you could see what they're talking about, or what the resemblance is, like, put it down in the comment box, because now I'm curious. Do I look like B. Simone? Is that a thing? Like, I don't know. Um, but yes, guys, I am so happy that I got to show you yet another black owned business, black girl boss, a black salon that is right here in Chicago in the downtown area in the Northbridge Mall on the third floor. Like, honey, you, you see all the details I've added in the video. You know how to find her. Hit her up on Instagram. Hit her up on um, her website. Like, get in, honey. I'm pretty sure if you're going to book and things like that, you could do it on PayPal like don't sleep cuz honey I am loving the new do okay ah! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, share, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. And until next time, stay B. Bye, stars.